Hello everyone, welcome to another video from our vision graphics and unlike our usual Photoshop tutorials, this is a tutorial on how to get a backup of your entire hard disk on a different hard disk. Reasons for doing this is probably because you want to backup your entire hard disk on a different storage device, on a different hard disk, or probably the current hard disk you are using is failing and you like to have a backup before it actually fails. And upgrading from an HDD to an SSD, maybe the nature of the HDD isn't favorable for you enough. For instance, I changed, I, I did a backup because my HDD wasn't performing fast enough for me. So I upgraded to an SSD. Yes. And change of PC, for instance, you have a new computer, but you need to have everything back as it was. So to get everything as it was, your windows, your software, your settings, everything onto a new PC, just like there was no changes, you are going to use this software. The name is Mini Tool Partition Wizard and the link to download it will be left in the description below. Too. So, so to start with, you launch the app and we begin to go through. So yes, this is the interface you are, you are greeted with when you open the app. Of course, it's a free, it's a free version. So this is the, the um, numerous options you get when you launch the app. You can do a data recovery, partition recovery. I think some of these options you need to pay for premium, but the one we are, we are working on today, we can get it for free. This uh, is a disk clone. Disk cloning is getting the same data on your disk to another disk exact data and there's, there's no difference in it so yes you click on this clone and it launches all right this is the page you are greeted with the copy this wizard and whole lot so a few a few backstory i actually have an ssd which is one terabyte and we are cloning it to another disk which is also around one terabyte and for inf for information the size of these disks should be the same for instance if you are making a backup of your one terabyte disk it should be on another disk that is as high as one terabyte or more for instance if you have been a backup for 500 gigs uh, a storage device it should be more than you should have a storage device a recipient storage device that has more than 500 gigabytes i hope it's understood all right, so this is the page you are greeted with. This is the my entire hard drive, but my new my old hard drive, which I like to upgrade. I actually, I have actually done the uh, backup already, but this is just for tutorial purposes. This was my old hard drive, and this is the new one I'm using already. But for tutorial sake, I'll back everything up on the old one, so you get how everything was done. So you click on next and you click on next it's going to say all the data on this disk will be destroyed that's the new disk and i i, I slotted into my pc of course i understand and i say yes and for here you fit partitions and everything into the disk like it is so you just continue by clicking yes and all all right after you are done everything here is aligned to your new disk here so you continue to click on apply apply pending changes we strongly recommend you close all applications before yes all right so this is the process in which the backup is going to is going to be done so partitions will be created and all okay so i fast forward the video and this is spot pops up after the loading process after the loading process you just accept to restart your pc so during the restart, the PC restarts and enters into BIOS mode and the process continues. Okay, so the process continues here and you have to you have to just sit back and wait till it's done. Okay, so at this point everything is done and as you can see this is from our external hard drive. And this is from our actual hard drives. Everything we have here, this is the disk D and this is the disk H. And I needed to add this. 
in case after you, you you've done this and you don't see your decks appear on the or at your computer just go to desk management just go to this management just go to this management and make sure you allocate a a drive letter to the hidden one for instance allocate a drive letter to the hidden one after you allocate a drive letter to it it's definitely going to appear on your computer so yeah that's pretty much it and if this video was helpful to you kindly like leave a subscription and follow my social media channel thank you for having me i'm out